A lot of preparation in the survival game. That's just, just nature, nature of the game, you know? That's probably part of the reason why people don't like this game, you know? It's like, there's a lot of do a lot of back and forth. I don't know, I think it's fine. It's interesting, you know? It has its own little gameplay. I, you know the thing, ironically... I keep saying ironic. I keep using the word ironically wrong, but... Uh, coincidentally, I guess... It kind of fits, you know, the theme, actually. Because it is like you're surviving on an island and everything. That is the story, so... I guess it does fit, you know? I personally don't play a lot of survival games, however, so... Oh yeah, I didn't... Because I teleport here and get the shortcut, so I'm like all the way around again. I mean, that's what I did last time anyway. Go this way... This way... I want to make sure I don't run accidentally, because I think running does cost stamina. And it's not really beneficial. It's, I think it's just better just to walk. Okay. Alright, we're back to where we were. We, you know, revived Minamo after being eaten by a parasite, so that's good. Let's go down, down, down into the metro... Mashiro something something, I don't know. Plaza, I think? Yeah, Metro Plaza, that's what it is. I don't know what that means. I mean, when I think Metro, I think of a subway, right? Hmm. Interesting little thing that happened there. Let's see. Oh, oh there's a Extend TV right here. All right. Yo, エクステンドテレビの時間だよ。みんなおめでとう。無事に地下に入れたみたいだね。クリオネにはいろんな種類があるから、集めてみるといいよ。それにしても地下街は暗いな。先が全然見えないよ。さっきもさ、隣の子や
I don't want what happened to your mother to happen to you. Dad, I understand how you feel that way. But as a police officer, I can't sit by and do nothing when a crime happens in front of my eyes. Sorry, I didn't mean to take away from your job well done. But even when fighting for justice, that pride and arrogance can get you some enemies. I just want you to remember that. Yeah, I will. I'm very grateful though. I'm able to continue this unprofitable bento shop thanks to your finding career right away. So as a token of appreciation and celebration, I'll make some bento for us tomorrow. Ah, uh, but I'm tired of your bentos, because you always reuse dishes from the shop. <laughs> You're tired of them? Ouch. No wonder the shop's not profitable. Okay. Dad is a bit of a deadbeat, <laughs> just sort of. Minamo's gonna have to, you know, carry the shop with her salary, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> you, you could just tell the Lars, you know, they're, they're getting a bit ruined. They're all going to die. あ、弁当屋と言えばさ、唐揚げ弁当買った時の話なんだけど。ずっと蓋を開けたら唐揚げ3個しかなかったんだ。どうしてだと思うえ、えっと、店員さんが入れ忘れたあ、それとも蓋にくっついてたブブ、正解は、コンビニで買ったからでした。弁当屋で買えよ。銀
Okay. Where's it coming from? Well, don't get hit by it. It just comes out of the wall. You know, you gotta do that. It's cheating. There's no hole. Okay, this is just a trap. It doesn't doesn't help us at all, I feel like. I don't know. Anyway. Security. No budge. Okay. Here? No, nothing else. Okay, I just go here, I guess. I was gonna say, you know, yeah, being a police officer is not as glamorous as you think. It's not always on the TV, you know? If anything, there's a lot of corruption, for one. <laughs> Often, there's like a whole thing where it's like, it, it, it's, it's a lot like retail, you know? It's like a bunch of people in retail with guns. <sighs> oh, basically. Where like everyone is, work, there's like a tier, you know, there's like a hierarchy, you know? Every, there's like a bunch of cops at the bottom. The, that have have their own culture and everything they you know not always but usually kind of do their own thing that is sometimes not uh what the managers want them to do oh, monsters there and so for example you the idea at least from what i've learned anyway from the few courses i did on you know law enforcement and police culture which i did do in university um Often you have to cover your own ass, you know? I mean, that's from a lot of testimony anyway, from other cops and ex-cops as well. There's like this whole culture, it's like it's like a clique, you know? You really gotta like cover each other's asses and the, the moment you, it seems like you betray each other or whatever. What are you doing with this? I'm not sure what you do with this. Can you open this somehow? You can't interact with anything. Yeah. Hmm, it's weird. <laughs> I mean, not to get too controversial, but like, it kind of is like that, you know? Where Cops can just kind of like cover each other's asses and there's like this whole thing. If you don't do that, you know, if for example, like, oh, there's a suspect or whatever, you gotta uh, interrogate him. But then you're like, if you're an officer, and you're thinking, well, maybe it's not this person. Maybe we should go out and find another person that might be the real suspect. We must find the truth. You know, that is, that is always the case in, in media. But then it's just inconvenient. You know, for the other cops to do that, they'd be like, nah. We won't say it to your face, but now we're going to exclude you, you know, from our group and make you feel unwelcome. Just like, uh, you know, just like, uh, just like, uh, with, um, Haruto's workplace, you know, how, like, he, he was treated as, like, a black sheep. I imagine that, that could, that's actually the very similar to being a cop as well, you know? If you're so idealistic and, like, naive and all that, you probably make a lot of enemies. <laughs> You know? I don't know if that's gonna be like Minamo's story exactly. Maybe not, but it really is in real life anyway, similar to how Haruto is treated in his job. It's like very cutthroat, you know? It's like... It's not a very nice place, I feel like. I don't know. Anyway, it's complicated though. I don't know. The police is complicated. Because definitely not every person's like wants to be part of that corrupted culture. And there's plenty of civilians as well that work for the police. You know, they're not police officers technically, but do work for the police. And definitely there's like influence as well. There's always, you know, there's always like political stuff as well that happens. You know, for example, I mean, it's always the, the cliche, but what happens if like a suspect is rich and powerful, you know? Cool. I might not get the same uh, treatment as someone who is an easy target. There's plenty of, oh, I was gonna say, there's plenty of situations where police officers have, uh, you know, sent someone innocent, you know, to jail and all that. Plenty of cases where that happened. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm kind of ranting about the police. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I feel like in Japan, though, Japan, in Japan, officers and police have a better reputation, <laughs> you know. It's... Yeah, they have a better reputation in Japan. So you probably won't see that side, most likely, from this game, maybe? Probably not. But I feel like, you know real life it's a very messy place a police institution 
A lot of manga here, by the way. Shoujo manga, Sanin manga. Shoujo means... Shoujo means girl manga, so it's for young girls. The demographic is young girls. Sanin is for, for men, for older men. Usually, like, you know, young adults, I guess. Light novels, adapted and anime. Strategy guys, I guess. I remember the strategy guys. Those, those are cool. You never, you know, I never buy them anymore, but... I got, I had, like, a Pokemon strategy guy. Shonen manga is for young boys. That's what I mean. Shonen means boy, you know, young boy. So that's what Shonen manga is for. That's the demographic. Isn't that amazing? You know, we you know, weeb talk, which is just Japanese, but like weeb talk 101. You gotta know what they mean. I feel like sometimes when I see I'm I'm surprised when people don't know what they mean. You know, Shonen, Sanin, Shoujo, and Jose. You know, they're all the demographics right there in the manga, you know. That doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's always like, for example, you can't you know, you can't like read shonen manga if you're a girl or whatever, but that's the intended demographic anyway. Chef novels, what's this? Shingo Amano in the ID card. Hmm. Look at this. Left it behind. The contents are empty though. I don't know, anyway. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Well, uh, this looks suspicious, by the way. This looks really suspicious, but... Dry plants. A flower bouquet? Uh, I hear a monster somewhere. Uh, help. Monster? I hear a monster somewhere. It's gonna jump scare me or something. Okay, that's closed again. I don't know why that's closed. I'm not sure what it is. Monster? Oh, I hear a monster. E? I can uh, hit her arm for some reason. Ow. I don't know if that's the correct thing to do. Because if I hit her arm, does it like... Because I want maybe I can get a Cleon or something. Oh, that just kills her. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Anyway. Zen got hit though. Right? Probably, uh... Some food. And then heal up, probably. Gotta find a safe resting area, though. Let's see. What's over here? Is this safe? What's over here? Nothing? There's just nothing here. Okay. Hmm. So spooky. Why is it so spooky? Hold on. Let me go over here. Close the door. And then uh, rest up. Ah. Zen's the one that needs a lot of uh, health back. Okay. Get a little food. I got so much jerky. <laughs> Here's your barbecue, by the way. Sachiko wanted a barbecue. It's the jerky barbecue. I mean, that's what had, what, actually what happened last time, actually, in the story. Everyone just ate a bunch of jerky. That's what it was. That's can't go that way still. As far as I know, anyway. I don't know why that's blocked off. I don't know. Uh, some way to open that. Probably, maybe there's a switch later on. Maybe? I'm not sure. Or maybe you gotta use a Cleon or something? I don't know. <laughs> but speaking of police officers, though... Ironically, the police officers I've met are not so bad. <laughs> you know, actually, in real life, anyway. I remember, because, you know, there's... Uh, I feel like there's good people, you know, in any institution, really. It's just that the institution, you know, is not that great, but the people are not always just plain evil, necessarily. But uh, there was, like, a police officer in my school, I remember, in high school, I think. He was cool, you know, just, I probably, like, this program where they, they had a police officer in the community and whatever, because there was initiative, you know, back then, and maybe it still is, but there's definitely, like, an initiative where... Instead of like just having full on cops with guns, either just roaming around all the time, there's like a, a f effort to like integrate them to the community and stuff like that. But often those programs are not very well funded, but you know, that is useful, I guess. You know, you gotta have like different, I feel like different 
roles for different situations. But you know, basically, what I've learned, at least in you know, in my opinion, anyway, what I've learned from uh, from the from those courses involving police officers is, is that um, often what happens, the tragedy happens basically when uh, you send the wrong person, the wrong person, uh, or rather the, the the wrong person for the job, basically, yeah. You know. And often the police officers are not equipped to deal with uh, situations where they don't have to like necessitate violence, you know. And that's what they're trained for, though, you know. All all all, 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 all police officers are just trained to like deal with threats, with yeah. violence, and stuff like that. You know, not even de-escalating really. You actually are supposed to, you're supposed to escalate, not don't de-escalate, and that's what police officers tend to do, right? That's what they're trained to do, and that's just what the culture, you know, the the work culture, you know, surrounds itself in about catching bad guys and all that right but sometimes it's not about pet catching bad guys anyway i just i don't know i'm ranting so much about police i mean you know it's related to the character right but we'll see what happens i don't know maybe it's not that at all it could be just something else i mean i imagine maybe something like i don't know it's gonna be like a maybe cheesy one where like actually who do i switch to oh yeah you know maybe it's gonna be like a cheesy one where it's like oh and then a criminal kills their family or something i don't know that's what I'm guessing is gonna happen. Oh no, if only I had a, a gun, I could have killed all the criminals. Maybe I should have done that, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see, what was the next part of our story? The Watch Thief. Phew. Glad there weren't any crimes today, but even still, I always get so sleepy after a night shift. Can't wait to take a hot bath when I get home. Then I'll make dinner after resting for a bit. Wow. What was that noise? Ouch! Hmm, what the heck is... Oh, is that Hiroki? Hey, Hiroki! He's gone. Maybe it wasn't him? Hiroki wouldn't just ignore me like that. Thief! What now? I'm a police officer. What seems to be the problem? Well, I went to the back of the room for just a moment. While I was back there, someone broke a display case and stole the watch inside. What am I going to do? It's alright. Please stay calm. Do you see what the culprit looked like? Yes, that's the thing. This was a juvenile crime. The culprit was a young boy. He had short hair, was wearing a striped short sleeve shirt, uh, or a, a striped short sleeve shirt and jeans. I'm, I'm so, I'm just so flustered. You know, I can't, I can't speak. Don't tell me. Is something the matter? No. It has to be coincidence. Hiroki would never steal like that. There's no way. Time to, you know, cover up the crime. Use my police connections. You know, that's also a thing as well. You know? That kind, of, that kind of corruption. I say corrupt. I mean, corruption can be can be in many forms. You know, like political corruption. You know, family corruption in the sense that family members get, uh, I guess, special treatment because they're related to police officers and all that. Anyway. <laughs> I blame poverty. If only we can eradicate poverty. If only that would be uh, if that were the case. ま、さか。<笑><笑> What? 
これだけ覚えて帰ってほしいもう突っ込む気力もなくなっちゃったから今日はこの辺で人類の明るい未来を照らしましょうバイバイ<笑> OK I you know extend TV is fine a little bit too much though you know I wish there was a more of a a bit more of a I guess gap, you know, in between these characters. They're funny, they're cheesy, that's the point. They're over the top. It's supposed to be lighthearted and silly. But, like, is it a bit too much, you know? I don't know. It's a bit too much. Seeing them over and over and over and over again. Oh, well. Well, we'll, we'll probably see more of them, you know? Even if I complain about it, I have no choice. We must be tortured by. By them, Sho and Mirai, forever. Until the end of time, we will no, we will get no reprieve from the little boy and the sheep. Mm, that's locked. Oh, I hear something. I hear a monster. Monster. What's this say? Kuguru na, kugura na, uh, ki. I can't. I can't remember my my hiragana. Um, is that key? Kiren? Kuguro? Kuguro na? Kiren? No, no. I don't know what that means exactly though. Oh, what? What the heck is that? A crab? What the heck? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. I mean, I could use that, I guess. Ow! Paralysis. Some things such as enemy attacks can inflict a paralysis status. The unable to attack or use charge attacks. You can use sedatives. How to avoid it. Well, that sucks. She can't use charge attacks, unfortunately, anymore. Hmm. I wonder what they're. Weaknesses. Like, where do I hit, need to hit them? Oh, well, they don't drop anything, though. Sedatives, though. Do I have a sedative? Cure fear. Antidote soap. I never have the items that cure the status effects that happens to be in this dungeons. Uh, anyway. Oh, that sucks. I'd like to know what I should aim at. No, it doesn't look like I need to aim something. Or maybe I have to aim at the back, maybe? Because they're like weird crap things with like microwaves as. <laughs> oh, I got hit that. We're like microwave crabs. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was thinking hitting the thing at the back, but I think I aimed at it. It didn't do anything, though. Oh my god. Also, Yuma doesn't seem to hit anything anymore. What the heck is this? Hermit crab meat. Okay, meat from hermit crab. I assume it's raw. I can't eat it, really. This isn't great. <laughs> There's a lot of damage finding these hermit crabs. Hey, we, might have to, we might have to go back soon. But let's see if we can at least get to the second floor from here. Before we have to leave. There's a dead rat inside that bag, by the way. And those hermit crabs. <laughs> they suck. What the heck? Flyer? I wonder if there's a washroom around here. <laughs> it's kind of like navigating a real mall. I'm always wondering, like, where's the washroom? Where is it? Okay, well. Okay, drop that. Ow. That's not great. Nope. Where is she? Over here. Nope. Hmm. 
Yuma can't attack at all, really. It says she can't, yeah, she can't attack at all. Sucks. No? Alright. Mm. I'm gonna close the door. <laughs> um... Any empty bottles? Uh, we might have to leave. Yeah, we might have to leave. How do I... Can I cure a sedative by simply, like, resting? In bed or whatever? I don't know. Let's see. Let's explore a little bit more. There's another Extend TV there. Ah, oh, god. Um... I heal so little. <laughs> that heal didn't heal a lot at all. It's a waste of a bandage. Oh, there's something here, actually. A Minamo. Is this bento shop? Yeah, that's the bento shop my dad used to run. Hmm. You still sort of make out the menu. Let's see. Fried Salisbury. Wow, fried chicken and Salisbury steak. I'm really just thinking about it. You know, I wonder actually in Japanese, it's probably like karage and um, hamburger. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's funny because in, in, in Japan, there's a meal called hamburger. That's not hamburger. It's something called Hamburger. If you watch any anime ever, probably you've seen it. It's like it's like a it's like it is like a Salisbury steak, but in Japan you call it Hamburger. You know, it's probably what it is in the original translation. Anyway, cream stew and fried chicken bento and beef bowl Salisbury steak bento. The menu wasn't unusual or special, but everything tasted great. That sounds like an unusual amount of food to me. Nom nom. Ayuma's having her air lunch again. Since in this area, I may have come here to eat before. We haven't had real cooking since we began this survival lifestyle. Hmm. If only my dad were here, he'd probably hook up something good for just about anything. He must really love your dad, Minamo. Huh? He always looks so nice when you talk about him. Well, he is family. And your beloved family member could be the boss creature of these ruins. Don't forget that possibility. <laughs> he just says there's an old man face. I know. The conquest videos always show hints on who the boss will be. In other words, someone who appears in the conquest videos will be the boss creature. This doesn't just apply to you. We just happen to face someone who we hated so far, but that may not always be the case. I know that. It's alright. No matter who the boss is, I won't back down. Is that so? Alright then. Sitochi Bento is closed. Apologies for the convenience. Ah, so dangerous. Alright, we need to like... Okay, I have to go back. We have no choice. Not from Ticket Game. Right before TV though. Like, Zen's gonna pee his pants, which is bad. Yuma's paralyzed. I really don't want to leave right now, but I have to. I gotta be set of this would be that next time. All right, we, we have to go. This is part. It's part of the survival game, you know. You gotta cut your losses. It's right there. There's some some not. So just a little bit more, but we have to go back. We'll we'll continue next time. Uh, for now, though, I need to like heal up. I gotta go washroom. Let's see. You know, this is, this is like, it's like real life. Like, Who's gonna go washroom? Ah, all right. Let's see. Get some food as well. Nom 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 nom. Need some water as well. Eat water. It's not really eating water, but yeah. All right. Probably rest up as well. I assume in the bed we rest up. We do get our stuff back. Uh, buck mates, sure. Let's take a quick nap. Okay, a little bond levels, I assume. I assume there's gonna be like weird shipping. You can ship these people, I don't know. The bond, they haven't, their statuses hasn't changed yet though. You look at their status, they're, they're still acquaintances though, everybody, right? I think, where is it? Yeah, everything, everybody's still acquaintances, it's still triangle, so. It probably goes up very slowly. Maybe when you upgrade the beds, it'll go way, it'll go way faster. Anyway, um, any sedatives in our, like, thing? Yeah, Yuma's still paralyzed. 
Mm, disinfectant. That's not what I want. Is there a way to make sedatives? I think I've seen it in the thing. Yeah, but we need blue fruit and blue mushroom, really? Uh, so we can't do that. So we are forced to change our party members now. I can't use Yuma. Yuma is too paralyzed. If only I didn't get hit by that crab. Alright, time to switch it up. Let's see. Um, oh, I don't know. He's very hungry, apparently. <laughs> and, you, and you feed him. Okay, fine. I'll use him. I like him. He's a doctor guy. I'll switch up my uh, thing though. Let's see. That. Oh, that. No, no, stop it. Horns. Sunglasses over there. Switch weapons. There you go. Alright. He needs to eat though. <laughs> Some more food. Run out of uh, monkey meat, so I gotta cook some pork as well. You make a. Uh, oh, we got another. I think we got another roasted rabbit. Oh, yeah. So, might as well make another one. So. Some jerky. Got a lot of goat meat. I was. Make some jerky from that. It's a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And that's all we can make, actually. You make herbal tea, I guess. It's not really worth it. The white flowers are limited, I feel like. For me anyway, so. I don't want to use that up. Put this away as well. Alright. Let's see. I'll put those away too. Alright, anything else? Can't really do anything with the crab meat, I feel like, but anyway. Alright, everyone enjoy their <laughs> daily jerky. Mm, delicious, delicious jerky. <laughs> Eating jerky every single day. Uh, let's see. What's uh, what's uh, Mamoru's favorite food, actually, I wonder? If I give him his favorite food, maybe he'll recover his stamina a lot quicker. Uh, it's... A savory dish. Hmm. Well, I mean, probably steak, I guess. Well, I'll probably just give him jerky. You know, is jerky savory? I don't know. It's salty. Uh, he says mama, but it's fine. Whatever. Just give him, just give him jerky. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna use my special food yet. There's so much special food. Just hoard it all. Interesting. I have this like weird marker in the mini map. It's part of the thing, I think. Well, you know what? Mm, well, I don't want to waste a day, though. I was thinking, like, because my crossover genes or whatever is not optimal. I would rather have him with Sachika or something. But I have to, like, sleep to, like, in order to activate that, so... Yeah. I'd rather not waste a day. Anyway. Let's see here. Well, we're good for now. We have to remember not to get hit by that crab, though. Hitting him by that crab is not great. I might as well use the toilet once again. Alright, let's get back to where we were. Or not load, rather. Actually, we should save, we should, we should save actually. Just in case. Alright, let's see. Um, You know what? I'll do a little bit more. Let's see. We'll have to return real quick. Because basically, I'm at the end of my recording session. It's weird, but... Um, go a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's see if we can... Uh, if, any, if nothing else, I want at least one more upgrade for my base, you know? That'd be great. Ideally, I want an upgrade for my base, which is a partition or like an iron fence. And then I'll head back to my base to build that upgrade, you know? That would be great. A monkey. That's good. I do want to kill that monkey for the, uh... For the meat. Okay. That's where we're. 
We haven't really made that much progress, to be honest. We only like, went one floor down, <laughs> you know? That's it. Didn't do much, really. Again, I wonder what this is. This little, like, thing in the minimap. It's probably something to do with the... Uh, the bunk situation. I don't know. I don't know what it is, exactly. Doko doko. Any fruits in this tree? Nope. Oh, concrete here. Let's see, where is it? Oh yeah, over here I think. Next to the toilets. Okay. Let's see. There's a wall there, I think. You see on the right there? It's a wall you can break, maybe? <clears throat> just, just, just drinking some water. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, the... These things have opened? And these ones have closed? What? How's that work? Wait a minute. Is it because I activated the switch, maybe? Is that how it works? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how it works exactly. But you know the switch involving the, uh... Yeah, it came back from this way. Okay. It's kind of weird. But the switch involving the, the arrow trap, you know? So many dead roaches inside a cake box. Disgusting. Hmm. So the, the the doors are different now. Or is it... I don't know. Is it a switch? Or maybe it's just... I don't know. According to the day? Because maybe I enter this place on a different day. Different doors open or something. I don't know. It's weird. Anyway. um, Over here. What's over here? Not much. Come on, give me a partition, <laughs> you know, or like a... Yeah, the, these gates are different, by the way. This is like red now. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know what it means. What does it mean? Because now these are blocked. These are blocked too. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, we probably proceed by going this way, probably, right? So that's where we come from, and they're running the stairs there. We gotta go this way? I'm thinking going this way. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, this is blocked. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that was blocked. Wait a minute, so where do I go? What if I... Oh, she can't use a Cleon right now because of, uh... I think it's because of her, uh, child body or whatever. Hmm. So I can't switch, okay. How about Zen? No? Oh, okay, he can't break that. Okay, never mind. Hmm... It's misleading as well, because there are definitely... No, there's... Okay, there's... You can go over here, actually. Okay, I didn't notice. Because there are definitely, like, things in the map, like over here. This one's blocked. I can't go there that way. But it's, it looks like it's open. So that's confusing. Okay. It's a door. Good. Um, just want to check over here this way, too. What's over here this way? Ooh, plants. Okay, harvest. Okay, uh, who's harvesting? Let's see. Probably Zen. Got some green fruit. Alright. Looks fresh, but a little sour. It's well, it's great. You know, it looks like grapes. Anyway, we got that. What's over here? There's a flyer that says important notice for our customers. Well, what's the important notice? I wish I knew. Oh? Wait, everyone! What's wrong? Over there! It looks different from the other creatures. Okay. Ugh. Alright. Whoa. Is what it says. 
screams at us. Hopefully it doesn't like cause stas effects. The, the, the worst thing in this game is stas effects. It seems to last forever until your character dies, you know, so. Hmm. Well, good, it's gone. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Of course it's nothing. Just had a bad feeling is all. But if I'm right... No, in that case, I just need to do what I need to do. No point in worrying about it now. I, it won't do me any good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was in here, actually? There's... Oh, there's this thing. Um... I guess... Might as well wear it. Nothing else? This ideas for shoppers or to get more shoppers. Not useful for us. More of these creepy mannequins, by the way. It's always creepy mannequins in these horror games. Even though this game doesn't feel like horror, it's a little bit of horror, I guess, but it's not completely horror, you know? An ad for seeking tenants. <laughs> These mannequins. I don't like mannequins. They're kind of creepy, actually. That's the point, but... <laughs> I really don't like them. Anyway. You guys go this way? This is, this is the way to exit, by the way? I can look at that. Alright, so this goes this way. Alright, let's, let's go. Okay, they grow up. <laughs> They're really old now. Zen is about to die, so I definitely do need to head back pretty soon. Probably before I move up one floor from this, I probably will go back. So we are limited by time, actually. But first, let me explore a little bit from here. What is that? That's, that's locked. There's some monsters there. Oh, okay. Can you shoot them from here or something? If I had like a slingshot, maybe? Long hallway. Oh, and a creature over there. Um, hold on. Just check over here. Pedestal. Interesting. You put something there, maybe. I don't know what you're supposed to put, though. Hmm. There's a creature there, though. Yeah, it's the, it's the boar. Perhaps if I sneak up on it. Get out of the way. Come on, which way are you gonna go? Which way? Hmm? Which way? Which way? Hmm? This way. Alright, there you go. These are scary. They <laughs> do a lot of damage. What's this? Sturdy boar scale. Hmm, interesting. That's different, I think, right? From the boar scares I've, I've got before. Anything else? Nothing else, it seems. Can I look at this somehow? It's just, it's just blocked. Even though on the map it looks like you can't pass through. What's this? It says the days to pass through date linked walls change daily. Huh. Date linked walls? Hmm. Anyway, what's this? Yeah, that's that's you know uh, that's uh, one weakness to immortality you know once you lose the live the, the will to live then uh, then you lose I guess I can't understand what happened if you don't talk to me. Why'd you steal from that store? Hiroki, if you have a reason, I want to hear it. I promised Mom you listened to me, remember? Fine. I won't talk to the police, but I'll talk to you. Okay, I'll listen as your sister. How'd you do it? I was ordered to. Ordered? I bumped into a high school and he said to give him money or else. So I said we're too poor to pay him and he told me to just go steal a watch. Please, keep this between you and me. He said he'll kill me if I go to the police. 
Thanks for telling me. But I can't keep quiet about this. Why? You said you listened as my sister, not as a cop. That's right. I listen as your sister, and as your sister, I can't keep quiet about this. But... I can't stand by while some jerk hurts my little bro. But he said... Don't worry. I won't put a finger on you. I promise. Okay. High schoolers are just threatening to kill people now. <laughs> what was this crazy world? I mean, it's not like it doesn't happen, but you know. Man. Kids. Kids these days. They're like psychopaths. I don't want to stop showing me Mirai's butt. <laughs> you know, it's very hairy. Well, I mean, in general, she's hairy overall because she's, you know, has a lot of wool, but anyway. Also, she's not like a weird mascot character, too. Anyway. <laughs> Are they? Are they, though? Alright. Hmm. You know, heal if I actually close the door actually, and then heal up. In case a monster just comes out of nowhere and starts murdering me in my menu. Okay. And a little bit of resting probably. Heal up a little bit. I guess uh, Minamo didn't take damage, I don't think, but she got more health because she grew into an adult, I guess. That's why. Her maximum health went up. I was wondering if she took damage or not. Anyway, yeah, we're mostly good to go. Let's see. Anything else around here? Another one of those boars. They're scary. Any, like, light switches? They mentioned, like, a light switch somewhere. I don't know where you get a light switch, though. Ah, yeah. Alright, dead. Give me your meat. Thank you. That's gonna make some delicious jerky. Hmm. Oh, in order to make jerky, don't, aren't you supposed to have salt? You know? We, ironically, jerky doesn't need salt, which is good you know, gameplay wise. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make any jerky at all. I mean, but usually, though, you use salt, right? <laughs> to make jerky in real life, anyway? Who would think so? Okay. Oh, by the way, I've noticed actually what the squares do. I think it's somebody's like, uh, I think maybe it's Mamoru. Maybe Mamoru has the thing. Maybe it's like a, it's like a thing where he got a buff from, uh, from bunking with someone else, maybe. I guess that's what it is. But I've noticed that, yeah, this, the Mamoru's, I think it's Mamoru, but basically the party anyway, has this thing where they reveal multiple squares at once. So that's nice, actually. So now, you know, I can fill the squares even more. Amazing. Hmm, photo of an idol in 2018. Alright. Another one of those boars. Oh, wait, hold on! Yeah. Stuck in a cutscene. I was gonna kill that boar. Now look! It's that creature from earlier! Another one of these things. Or, well, one of these things anyway. We only saw one, and I think it's the same one. Sis Namo. Hmm. Is that Hiroki? You know, I wonder. I mean, the only sister would be Minami right now, according to the story. So, is that Hiroki? He grew up, maybe? Uh, so, it looks a lot bigger. What? Onei chan. Alright, bye. Bye, Hiroki. Is that... 
Did that creature just say Bix is Minamo? Mm. That means... Guess I was right after all. But it does not seem like a boy in grade school. Mm. Maybe he grew up after being infested as a child. It's possible. Uh. Minamo. It's fine. What? Even if that's my little bro and he's the boss creature this time around, I would ask you guys not to kill him. But... Are you sure? You'd be killing your own brother. Do you really want that? Of course I don't want to kill him. But we need to defeat the boss to get the machine part, right? I can't cause trouble for the rest of you over my own personal affairs. <laughs> Are all cops like this? Prioritizing others over your own needs. I'm amazed you can make that decision so quickly. Maybe you're more messed up than I am, huh? I don't know... I don't know about that, Zen. Zen, you're going too far. No, it's fine. It's true I made a decision like that. But... It's fine, really. Let's keep moving. Okay. Oh, it's about to kill me in the cutscene, because... Can be okay. Ah, bam. Okay, it's good that we can just kill the boar in one charge attack combo. Filthy PE clothes and underwear. <laughs> okay. Anything in the vending machines? You know, you would think there'd be something in the vending machines, but I don't know, I don't know how. Uh, how uh, products in the vending machine would last. Anyway, uh, switch? Hmm. Okay, I was hoping that was a light switch, but it didn't seem to do anything. I don't know. I was thinking going over here. Oh, at least nowhere, okay. By the way, we're in the subways, but I don't even mention that, but we're in the subways. I always get nervous. I'm gonna be honest, I always get nervous, you know, in the subway, like... Look at this. It's not very safe. You could like accidentally trip. I mentioned before many times. That's actually one of my fears. Just like a lot of people like stand very close to this yellow line. It's scary. I don't know, man. You could like trip and then fall into the thing and, and then the train goes whoosh, you know. You'll be freaking dead. It's scary. Anyway, so I guess we go over here now? Mm -hmm. The other side, I guess, of the station. Anything else to look at? Oh, I just we just go up, I guess. Man, no partitions still. I want more partitions. My partitions. Mm. Okay, we can go up, but Zen's probably gonna die. Let's see if he does. If he dies, I'll go back to the base and revive him. You know. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he, he, he made like a dying noise. He's freaking dead. Yeah, we have to revive him. Most likely. To get his stuff. So. And uh, we'll just go back, I guess. Nothing else to do. Maybe if we progress enough, we'll just be like a shortcut or something. But I think I have to head back now. So there you go. We have to go back. So I'm go a little bit more. But it's the nature of the game, it's weird, the, the timing is weird, you know? That's what I was I was afraid of, like, sometimes because of the game mechanics, we do have to, like, just suddenly go back, you know? But it's what we have to do. Alright. I want to expand my base, but I can't. I wish I could. Anyway. Let's see, uh, yeah, extend. Yeah, he's gonna have better stats, though, that's, that's good. You know, because he overcame trauma, which means we did his dungeon, I guess. Okay, death by old age, so he gets a bunch of stuff like that. Stamina and attack increase. There's a big hammer in that TV, by the way. I assume the Shigibane... I don't know, like... Does it always all stack? I assume it does. Like, all the Shigibane just... They all just stack, right? All together. So overall, just in general, your character gets stronger if they die over and over again. So it's a good thing to... You know, it's a good thing to die. Because then your, your character will just overall be, just be stronger. So instead of like, I mean, there is leveling up and everything, but it levels up skills, but if you really want to level up your stats, you know, your character actually needs to die and everything, right? Anyway, let's uh, eat some jerky. Yum, yum, yum. 
I assume Yuma is Yuma still paralyzed? I assume, I assume so. Hmm, excuse. Coughed a little bit. I was gonna say there's uh, some potatoes here. Where do the potatoes come from? Is it because of the garden? Oh, that's good. That's nice. Some free food here. Some cabbages. Okay, so the garden, I guess, just it just drops items there. Use the toilet. Refresh ourselves, and all right. We're gonna have to uh, tackle the dungeon next time, I think, is what I'm gonna do. Gonna like, you know, I don't gonna do much. Probably off screen, maybe. I'll probably grind some more, get some more like, I mean, when I say grind, you know, ironically when I say grind like an RPG, it means like grinding like XP and whatnot, but it's not really XP. I'm getting, I just want more food. <laughs> I need a lot of food. I feel like I have plenty at this point, but you know, you never know. I like ever since the difficulty spike, I'm kind of afraid <laughs> of running out of food and everything. I also might find like some, some sedatives as well, but I'm not sure. I, I don't think you can do that right now. I guess we'll see. I'll explore the the later or the previous dungeons a little bit more, maybe, and find some other things. You know, um, and hopefully, I don't know. I, I there is like sides, uh, like optional seasons and everything. I'm probably not gonna show that. It's not that important. I feel like I mainly when I you know when I record my playthrough, I I mainly just want to show the main stuff, right? Just the main story and everything, and cut all the fluff, you know, for the most part. But anyway, it's probably what I'll do. And then when I'm good and ready, I'll continue doing the uh, the third dungeon and find out what happened to Minamo and her little brother. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I don't imagine it'll be as worse as Zen's story, but who knows? <laughs>